NFL quarterback rankings coming at you here from Chat Sports. Mitchell Renz ready to react to ESPN's top 10 quarterbacks that were released. Now, I should say that this list isn't mine, and it's technically not even really Jeremy Fowler's. Well, the way that these rankings were made were just from a bunch of players, executives, and coaches. Here's the breakdown of the rankings that you're about to see. Here's how our process worked. Voters gave us their best 10 players at a position. Then we compiled the results and ranked candidates based on number of top 10 votes. Composite average, hundreds of interviews, research, and film study help from ESPN NFL analyst Matt Bowen. In total, more than 50 voters submitted a ballot on at least one position, and in many cases, all positions. We had several ties, so we broke them with the help of additional voting and follow-up calls with our rankers. Each section is packed with quotes and nuggets from the voters on every guy, even the honorable mentions. So before I go into the top 10 quarterbacks on this list, and I'll react to each guy going from 10 to 1, who do you believe right now is the best quarterback in the NFL? I'm going to be looking. Let's go to number 10 on the list. It is Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott coming off a pretty impressive season thrown for 4,449 yards, 37 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. To me, I also view Dak as a top 10 QB, even though Colin Coward has him at like 14 or so. I thought this was a fair ranking. The next person coming up here, from a talent standpoint alone, I believe Deshaun Watson is in the top 10. But he didn't play last season. To be honest with you, there's a chance that he doesn't even really play this season. And when I think about the top quarterbacks, I do think that you have to put into consideration a quarterback that you would want to build your team around right now. Is there anybody out there that would even want to try to touch Deshaun Watson with a 10-foot pole? No. And I don't. I think you'd be crazy to say yes. So crazy, like Browns crazy. Let's go to number eight on the list. It's new quarterback for the Denver Broncos, Russell Wilson. And Wilson, to me, has the upside to be in the top five. I do think that his ranking is a little bit lower for the simple fact of last season he battled a few injuries. But even though he went through injuries, he threw for 25 touchdowns. Six interceptions. I'm curious to see what he's going to be able to do this upcoming season in a Broncos offense that I do believe is going to be a pretty good offense, whether you have Javonta Williams, you got Jerry Judy, you got Cortland Sutton. Yeah, you don't really have anybody at the tight end position, but to me, one of the biggest Band-Aids in the NFL, and what do I mean by that? A player who you could just put on a team, and then they were able to play well because of the quarterback play. I think you're about to see how bad the Seahawks are without Russell Wilson. Before we get into our top seven quarterbacks, Chat Sports, we need your help. The last time I checked, over the last 28 days, 77% of the people that are watching our videos aren't subbed. Mind-blowing to me. Now, I believe it's because you don't know how to create a YouTube account. And because when I've talked to my dad before, he was like, I didn't know how to make a YouTube account until you told me. Well, how about this? I want you to subscribe, and I want you to watch our shows. And to make sure that you never miss anything, that's why you should sub. Now, if you're one of those people who might not be all that great with technology, it's okay. I got your back. This is what you need to do to, in order to create that YouTube account. Click sign in on YouTube. Click create account. Then you're going to click for myself. Fill out the information, first name, last name, then go to Chat Sports, then click subscribe and turn on those notifications. Let's go to number seven on the list here of our top 10 NFL quarterbacks from ESPN. It's Chargers QB, Justin Herbert. And in terms of who could be one of these players that gets into the top three next season, I believe it's Herbert. He's entering year three. He's got the arm strength. The Chargers have the town on the offensive side of the football with Keenan Allen, Mike Williams. They also have a solid running back in Austin Eckler who can catch the football. But, I mean, this is one of these dudes where he threw for 5,000 yards last season. Maybe he takes that next step in year three. And there's going to be a lot of eyeballs on him in the AFC West with Derek Carr, Patrick Mahomes, Russell Wilson. A lot, a lot of eyeballs. At number six in our QB rankings, it's NFL, well, oh, I guess Super Bowl MVP, Matthew Stafford, and to me, Stafford is an incredible player from top to bottom, threw for 41 touchdowns, 17 interceptions last season, has a hilarious cell phone commercial, at least that's my two cents, threw for 4,886 yards. I think this is one of the prime examples of you can't always judge a quarterback on wins, right? Because he played with the Lions his entire career, 
never won anything. And I don't know if there was many people out there that would put Stafford in the top ten. Then he wins a Super Bowl. He goes to a good team. And once you know it, now he's in just about every single person's top ten. Now, if you guys are looking for a top ten deal, I got one for you. We're looking at t-shirt combos because they are on sale anytime I walk into a store. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I look at the stuff in the front. But I'm always looking for that rack of clothes that this is at a discounted price. It might be hidden in the back a little bit. Luckily for you, I'm moving it up to the front of the store. If you go to chatsports.com slash NFL shirt combo, you can get your favorite team, a combo shirt for only $29.99. Now, usually these shirts are like $49.99. I'm just trying to save you an additional $20. Bucks. You can then take that other $20, bucks, go get yourself a coffee, a soda, maybe a burger or two. I don't know, whatever you're in the mood for. You might just want to get a bigger shirt. But luckily, we got sizes from small all the way up to, I believe, 4 or 5XL. It's chatsports.com slash NFL shirt combo. And if you can't remember that link, it's also in the comments and in the description of today's video. Y'all ready? to get into the top five I hope so Joe Burrow Bengals quarterback and if you want to talk about a player who was able to really flip the script on his team you're looking at him I mean the Bengals were four and twelve and then they go to losing in the Super Bowl is that offense talented with Jamar Chase T Higgins Tyler Boyd and Joe Mixon no doubt about it that offensive line, though, last season was trash. Let's not get it twisted. And Joey B was still able to throw for 4,600 yards, 34 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. I don't want to throw out the name Tom Brady because he it's hard to live up to Brady. He's the greatest of all time. But does anybody else get Tom Brady vibes from looking at Joe Burrow? I don't know. Maybe I'm also just saying that because, well, he's the next guy on the list here. Coming in at number four, the dude who just continues to prove that, let's face it, Father Time, he I always say he's undefeated. I don't know if he's going to beat Brady, man. This is a guy who I think like looks better at the age of 44 and 45 that he did when he was 23, 24 years old. He's still able to throw for 5,316 yards, 43 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. I mean, this is arguably the second best year he's had of his career outside of the year where him and Randy Moss decided to connect for 23 touchdowns and, well, they lost in the Super Bowl. Brady is still playing at a high level, and if I'm really being honest with you, when I think about these quarterback rankings, I do think from a regular season standpoint, but if the game's on the line in the playoffs, I'm probably going to take Brady over every other person on this list. Now, before I unveil the top three quarterbacks, a lot of times when we do videos like this, and this is what chat sports is predicated on, is people are always going to disagree. Sure, some people will agree, but I guarantee you, 99.9% .9 of the people watching right now are going to be like, these quarterback rankings suck. Okay, how about this? Let me know your top 10 QBs. I want you to tag me on Twitter. I want you to tag me on Instagram. I'll share them on my Instagram stories. I am at MitchellRent365. Let me know your top 10 quarterbacks. I can't wait to see them. When I think about these rankings, I do think that there is a clear tier break in terms of these next three guys. And I know what I said about Brady, but the next two, three the talent is just unbelievable. And Josh Allen, to me, if I was in fantasy football, he'd be the first quarterback I would take because of his running ability and his running ability alone. However, I am very curious to see what Allen looks like this season without Brian Dable because I do believe Dable was one of the biggest reasons why Allen was able to take that next step, why he was able to just turn into one of the best quarterbacks. And if you didn't watch that Bills game between the Bills and the Chiefs in the playoff game, you could see that those two quarterbacks are a lot different than a lot of the other quarterbacks in the NFL right now, which is why I'm going to Patrick Mahomes here at number two for the Kansas City Chiefs. And if you're looking at just overall arm talent, athletic ability, that swagger in the huddle, and realistically, he reminds me right now of, I'm going to make a baseball reference because Jack is a producer. Jack, behind the scenes, a Red Sox fan. Right now, this guy's like Aaron Judge. You can try to pitch to him. He's probably going to hit one out of the park. And you can make a perfect pitch. You can draw up the perfect defensive play. But sometimes it doesn't matter because Mahomes can scramble. He's going to toss one up. And now you're getting bit in the butt a little bit. However, just like I said about Allen losing Dable, what is Patrick Mahomes going to look like this season without Tyreek Hill? I think his numbers take a little bit of a hit. At number one, though, 
I mean, I'm not going to really fight about it. I, I personally could say that Josh Allen is the most talented quarterback in the league. Patrick Mahomes could be number one. But it's kind of hard to dispute the back-to-back -back NFL MVP in Aaron Rodgers. Sure, his dating game is even probably weirder than Zach Wilson's at this current moment. But this guy throws for touchdowns, doesn't get picked off very op uh, often. But like I talked about with all those other quarterbacks leading up to him, what is Rodgers going to look like this season without his go-to guy, Devontae Adams? The offense will look a little bit different. But at the end of the day, ma'am, if I'm going to be betting on a guy who's going to go out there and put up just stupid numbers year in and year out, Aaron Rodgers is going to be one of those guys that a lot of people put some money on. So those were the top 10 quarterbacks voted by NFL executives, players, and coaches. But how about this? Because I do think we live in a spoiled time right now in the world where there's a lot of really talented NFL quarterbacks out there. And I know that we didn't put all of the guys that maybe deserve a spot. So how about this? Name a quarterback who you believe deserves to be in the top 10 that didn't quite crack the list. All right, let's get into some of these honorable mentions now. And I don't really disagree with any of these honorable mentions. Personally, I see Lamar Jackson as being a top 10 quarterback. Derek Carr, there's a lot of people out there that think he's the most underrated QB in the entire league. At least that's what Colin Coward said. But I also don't believe that he deserves to be in that top 10. That might change now that he has Devontae Adams. And then Kyler Murray. The beginning of the season last season, I mean, Murray was like my front runner for MVP. Loses DeAndre Hopkins and then took a step back. However, I could make a legitimate argument for all three of these quarterbacks to be in the top 10. Now, if you want even more content from me, and if you want to see my entire ranking of all 32 starting quarterbacks, well, guess what? It's over on Locals. You can see it at the link below. Please join my community at RaidersReport.Locals.com. Find out where Derek Carr ends up ranking. And if you want even more live videos and exclusive content from me, you can just also scan this QR code right here. You know what, maybe it's not even the locals. I don't even know. I actually don't even know what this QR code goes to. How about this? You could get a boat. You, you might even be able to get a boat if you scan this QR code. There's only one way to find out. You got to scan that code. Let's go through one more time here our top 10 quarterbacks from ESPN. Aaron Rodgers, back-to-back -back NFL MVP at 1. Mahomes, Allen, 2-3. Brady, Burrow, 4-5. Stafford and Justin Herbert at 6-7. and seven. And then to round it out, Russell Wilson, Deshaun Watson, and Dak Prescott. Now, before I leave all of you today, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And I know, some of you are like, dude, it's July. I'm not ready to go back to school yet. Some of you are like, man, I've been in school for 40 years. Well, it's time to go back to school. I want you to grade these rankings. A, you loved them. B, they were good. C, they were average. D, you didn't like them. F, yeah, F and hated them.